Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing our expert Angular interview series part three. Now in this particular series, we are covering all interview question and answers on Angular templates. So I am breaking down the Angular framework, the interview questions into categories so that it's much easy for you to learn. It's much easy to categorize and understand them, the areas that you want to improve. If you have any doubts or queries, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Before we get started, I recommend you to kindly check out the previous two parts that we have covered. It will give you a lot of valuable insights. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. There's a lot of hard work I am putting in, which is a collection of over 200 interview questions for you. So please subscribe to my channel, keep liking the videos, and if you have doubt, just ask me, I'm here to help you for free. Let's get started with expert series part three, question number one. So what is the purpose of ng for directive? We use Angular ng for directive in the template to display each item in the list. You can relate ng for like a for loop in your programming languages that you know. For example, here we are iterating over a list of users, ng for let user of users will loop all the, will keep it repeatedly loop the users object and print all the user data that you want. What is the purpose of ng if directive? Sometimes an app needs to display a view or a portion of the view based on certain circumstances. So angular ng if directive inserts or removes an element based on true or false condition. So think of ng if like an if else condition from programming languages. If certain condition is true, show that piece of code. Else do the next piece, right? So similarly, we can use asterisk ng if equal to user age greater than 18. So this is nothing but a if else condition if you can relate if you want to relate. What happens when you use script tag inside template? So Angular recognizes the value as unsafe and automatically sanitizes it, which removes the script tag, but keeps safe content such as the text content of the script tag. So it's a bad practice to use a script inside the template. Don't use that because this, this will lead to a lot of excesses, uh, vulnerability and security issues. So this is a question asked for experienced developers. Can you use a script tag inside template? The answer is yes, we can use it, but it is not encouraged because it will lead to a lot of security issues or script injection attacks. Now, what is interpolation? Interpolation is a special syntax that Angular converts into property binding. It's a convenient alternative to property binding. It is represented by double curly braces. The text between the braces is often the name of a component property. Here, if you can take a look at the example, we have title, which is inside the double curly brace. So whatever value is there in the component class for title, it will be printed. And similarly for the URL. So interpolation is nothing but whenever you bind the data using double curly braces to display from class to view, it becomes interpolation. So what are template expressions? Template expressions produce a value similar to any JavaScript expression. Angular executes the expression and assigns it to a property of a binding target. In the property binding, a template expression appears in quotes to the right of the symbol. So if you see here, property is written in brackets equal to expression. So this is nothing but your um, in interpolation is also an example of template expression, property binding, data binding. These are all examples of template expressions. In simple words, you can also say the method to bind the data is also part of template expressions. So what are template statements? A template statement responds to an event raised by a binding target, such as an element, component or directive. Now in the, here example, if you see, we are attaching a event which is click event equal to edit profile method. So here this is a statement. It's not an expression because we are not binding value here. We are calling the method. So that's why it is called template statement. 
how do you categorize data binding types so a lot of times different different words are used for data binding like component to dom dom to component two way data binding source to view view to source so don't get confused simple you have to remember three things data binding is nothing but da binding data properties or methods second there are three main categories source to view view to source and view to source to view source or you can say component to dom dom to component and two way data binding so you can see the differences that we have listed here we have also covered this in our part 1 in detail so if you are not clear here please check out part 1 series where we have explained in detail with some examples all right so that brings us to end of part 3 uh, i hope you are enjoying this series and learning also i am very excited for all the interview parts that we want to bring you if you are going for any angular interview i want you to crack it 100% If you have any doubts, any queries, drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you for free. Please, friends, I request you to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. I'm putting in a lot of hard work for you. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you so much.